Hi everybody, this is Dr. Daniel Yen at the Center for Musculoskeletal Function. We're talking about tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. There's different phases um, of degeneration to the tendons um, of the tennis elbow and the golfer's elbow. And if you know the phases, uh, it helps you identify where you are in the process and it helps you get uh, treatment early so that it doesn't become uh, so chronic. So the first phase, you're gonna feel mild uh, stiffness and soreness after activity, which relieves in about 24 hours. Um, in the second phase is the same sort of presentation, but it lasts uh, greater than 48 hours, that mild stiffness and soreness. It, really, it feels better right after you do, say, like a warm-up before you, before you um, exercise, and you don't really feel it during the activity. Um, and if you just give it rest, it'll, it'll calm down in about 72 hours as far as you feeling the symptoms. In the third phase, that mild stiffness, uh, stiffness and soreness uh, can be felt before the activity. Uh, it can be felt, and it's and uh, it's partially relieved when you're warming up and doing the exercises, but not fully. Not like in the second phase where it's fully relieved during the warm up. Um, there's mild pain during the activity, um, but it doesn't pr prevent you from doing the activity, whether it's a work activity or sports related activity. Um, and as we move to the fourth phase, the pain becomes a little bit more prominent. You, you kind of notice it more, at least greater than the first couple phases there. And the changes, it starts to change the, um, the way you do the activity. So the movement patterns start to change. You start to compensate. Uh, on the fifth phase, the pain becomes a lot more moderate to severe. And at that point, we're, we're feeling pain before, during, and after activity. Um, the, the pain is even felt with day-to-day -day activities. So daily activities are things like unloading the dishwasher or getting a milk jug out of the refrigerator. So you feel pain there, you can still do it, but you feel the pain. Um, and then if you take complete rest, um, the pain can be relieved. At least, the, at least you don't feel the symptoms anymore. And then on phase six, not even with full rest does the pain go away. So you, you rust fully, the pain is still there, it's moderate to severe, and you're still feeling it before, during, and after activity. And the final phase, the pain is constant. You're feeling it all the time, and it intensifies with activity, but it never really goes away. It gets to the point where it can um, interrupt your sleep because of the pain. So those are the seven different phases. The earlier you catch it and the earlier you intervene, the e easier it is to treat. So for that reason, um, I wanted to present these phases to you. Hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.